is opening day here in Ohio. However, we have some issues. Uh, EHT is running rampant around here right now. So my property that was what I felt was loaded um, spring and early summer with deer had some nice bucks on camera. It's, it's just gone silent here. So we're sitting out here, field edge today. Um, this is just a doe hunt. I'm saving some spots for hopefully the rut. But uh, we're gonna see what can happen. I'm just excited, blessed to be back out here today. So let's go. All right, so that is it for this morning's hunt, a uneventful hunt with that. Um, little concerned, little concerned. Had uh, my second year on this property, but had so many deer here early season last year. Bucks, does, I mean, it was like herds of them. And um, <clears throat> my dad, who doesn't live far away, just a few miles down the road, has found probably maybe five, maybe more uh, dead deer that tested positive for this EHD disease that's running rampant around here. So um, I don't know. I don't know they've also changed crops a little bit so the standing corn could be playing a factor as well but um they've really vanished here the last month so nothing this morning we're gonna get back after it it's just day one we're gonna see what we can do uh tomorrow and then uh into the first week here Matt. So I just had a nice sized doe pretty much come out of nowhere and uh, tried to stop her. She kind of bounced back there. It's that full draw for a little while, not too long, but I don't know about that shot I took, a little questionable through some trees there. So we're gonna give it at least a half hour, sneak out of here and go take a look. All right, so it is, uh, it's been a couple weeks now since uh, I shot that doe and didn't really want to make a video out of anger or anything like that. But uh, what kind of took place, pretty disappointing, honestly. So I shot that deer, um, that doe, right at like dusk. It was right at, as the sun had just set, um, you know, less than a half hour left in legal sh shooting time in the woods. So pretty dark. I uh, gave it some time. You could see there when I was talking towards the end of the video, it was pretty much pitch dark. It then started raining pretty hard as soon as I cut that camera off. So the whole blood trail um, kind of became an issue. So when I got out, I found the arrow uh, pretty much instantly. Uh, and no blood and I, I really do think it was just everything had gotten washed away plus it's dark it's hard to see just a combination of both so i got my dog archer um and he he got a trail and he followed it right to the property line so the spot i was hunting that blind was actually pretty much on the property line um typically in years of bow hunting most of everything i've shot has ran away from me after i've shot so that was kind of the wind and the location of that blind um, because the gentleman would not let me go to recover that deer. So I'd went and talked to him. He said he didn't have an issue with it, but his wife would, and it was a no. I'm gonna be honest, I was caught so off guard. I wasn't asking hunting permission. I was just simply asking permission to go recover a game that I had killed. Um, I knew it was, kind of just inside his property line there um didn't want to i don't know what he had camera wise and stuff like that um it's dark i couldn't really see it i i, I didn't want to get like a trespassing charge or some sort of poaching charge or anything like that so 
I had really nothing left to do other than just to uh, obey what the guy said. Um, I, I, like I said, I was caught so off guard. Now there's so many things I'd want to say. Like, I mean, it's pretty obvious you don't want a deer rotting on your property. But uh, I did drive by uh, the next day. It had heated up quite a bit. Um, and by like, I think 48 hours later, you could smell it bad. And that's how I could kind of tell right where it was. Fell right in his front yard. Um, vultures were everywhere. So it probably ran total about 75 yards, um, which isn't terrible. I mean, most of mine run 50, 25, 50, but, uh, I'm, I'm guessing she ran about 75 yards and crashed, which I did thought I heard something possibly her go down in that direction, but I didn't know what to do. I kind of froze up. So comment if you guys have ever ran in, into anything like this, I'm going to go have another talk with him. Obviously. I could smell the deer rotting, so I know he could smell it. Um, and the dozens and dozens of turkey vultures in his yard uh, probably wasn't cool. So I'm going to go have another conversation. I'm just going to approach it trying to be friendly and just politely ask, like, hey, I know you said no before. I'm not trying to get permission to hunt your property. I'm just trying to feed my family and recover what I shoot. So thank you guys for watching. It is a super bummer. I'm a meat hunter first. Uh, rack and trophy hunter or whatever that's just you know it is what it is i i hunt to feed my family the goal is five deer this year five to six to uh feed my little family of four so thank you guys for watching hit that like and subscribe have a good day